What's going on guys? Retex Ones here, but one full day. Got a new video for you guys. This is kind of like an updated video for the firmware update for the RG35XXH. This will be linked down below in the description and in the comments of that video. Because guys, there is a newer version for the RG. So let me show you guys very quickly what we're working with, all right? So if you press the F button on the top, you have your system information. Guys, oh, you cannot see that. We are at 1.1.4, the 626. That is the newest version, guys. All right, we are actually a couple updates behind from that video, which was released a month ago. They released two more here. And you guys can see um, a bunch of different stuff here. Okay, so the user disk usage is at 43, systems at three, and then the extension is ext4. The problem is I ran into an issue while flashing it for some reason, it takes away all 64 gigabytes and drops it down to a one gigabyte file. But I was able to remake it work. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I got it to work if you guys run into this issue. If you don't run into the issue and you're able to do it like the original way, then you're good, all right? So let's go ahead now, turn this bad boy off. We're gonna hop onto the PC here, which I'm already on uh, right here. I could just swap back and forth, but we're gonna put in our micro SD card. All right, you guys are gonna copy over all of your files, your BIOS, your ROMs, everything, just in case something happens while you're flashing, it doesn't work. All right, you have all the original stuff, all right? So let's get into it, guys. All right, I'm gonna see you there. All right, guys, so our micro SD card is in, all right? Make sure you have all these copied. Now you're gonna know something completely different from mine versus yours, all right? You can see on the left side, I have two different drives, but they say the same exact thing. The problem was, like I said, I kind of, it kind of like messed up when I was flashing it. So it made two different drives, even though they're the same things basically, right? However, the ROMs in this one with the E has the actual games. The one in F has nothing, okay? But F also has the BIOS that we do need, all right? Which, of course, like I said, copy over the BIOS, copy over the ROM. So those are gonna be like the main things that you probably would end up losing and your save data if you have any save data, okay? So you're going, I'm gonna restart this whole thing, all right? I'm gonna show you guys step by step what you're gonna need, all right? You're going to need the newest version, 1.1.4. Now guys, I'm gonna make this super easy for you, okay? Because, right, first of all, we are running 428, right, from that previous video. This one is newer, 1.1.3, and 1.1.4, you guys can read the bugs if you want to. But guys, I'm gonna give you my mega link, okay, where it's only four gigabytes to download because it's already compressed. It's not gonna take you guys five hours to download all right this will be linked down below in the description it's the same exact one the 6267 zip which is inside this we transfer uh right here right so if we go and open this up it's going to be that cxm in this folder this is a zip will be that seven zip file so we're bypassing this completely because this is 64 gigabytes guys this is is huge you don't need that all right you're only gonna need this one because this one has the file that we need, all right? So, download this in the description. You guys are going to end up, let me actually delete this, right? You end up with this right here. This exact one, all right? 4.11 gigabytes, same exact one in the Mega, all right? You're gonna need Rufus and Mini Tool Partition Wizard, all right? So go ahead, right click this, extract files, Extract it right to that same exact folder, guys, all right? So, D, Chrome Downloads. Oh, are we 1.1.4? Yeah, hit OK. It's gonna take like a minute or so. This is gonna give you that image file, which, which is our flash file, all right? That's it. It saves you guys 10 hours, okay? Legit 10 hours. Now, while that's doing that, let's go ahead, open up Mini Tool Partition. I have it here somewhere, where is it? I open up on the bottom, I guess, huh? Open up on the left. 
good. You guys probably heard that. Screen's probably black. All right. Hold on. Close out the message here. Just loading up the module right now. Anytime now. While this is going anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, if this guy, guys, if it does help you out, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. Thank you guys so much for 1,500 subs, by the way. I greatly, greatly appreciate that. So, you're going to notice something, okay? Our third disc is our micro SD card. What's supposed to happen is there should be one large allocation partition, I should say, for the ROMs, right? However, when you do it, it only gives you this 1.1. I'm going to show you guys, okay? Remember, save your BIOS, your ROMs, everything. Save them all. Save them all, okay? So, you're going to right click, you're going to delete all partitions. Hit yes. Now you get this full unallocated. Right click, create. You're going to, uh, whatever you want to name it, blah, 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 blah. Primary, letter, G, FAT32. Hit OK. Hit apply on the bottom left. Hit yes. It's going to delete and apply all that. What am I using it for? Ah, snap. What am I using it for? Um, give me one second. It might still work anyways. Hold on, chat. Mini, no. Do I have it open? I might have it open in something. Oh, hold on. I got a Microsoft Windows uh, thing on the left. Give me one sec, guys. I do apologize. Let me close out. Okay, we should be good now. Create. FAT32. Hit OK. Apply. Yes. Okay, yeah. I, it, when I put in the disk, it gave like that format error. Like to format the disk. You don't format whatsoever. Just do what I'm doing here, guys. Okay. So once this is done, it should pop up on our left side as disk F. All right, we don't need that open. Oops, sorry. Where's mini? Right here. Okay, updating partition. Good, so F, it came up as other, but we still have it right here. If we right click and go to properties. Oh, we might need to redo that. Sorry guys. Format it as uh, FAT. It has to be the FAT32, guys. Make sure it says that, not other. Okay, give it one second. There we go, okay, now, right-click, properties, FAT, perfect. So, where's our, um, is this done yet? Wait, it didn't extract it? No way. Oh wait, duh, it's right here. Okay, guys. So, here's our image file now. Open up Rufus, guys, okay? Open up Rufus. Bottom right. Yes. Screen's probably black, okay? Make sure this is your micro SD, 64 gigabytes, all right? This is where I've been getting that error, guys, all right? Use that image file, 16 gigabytes it should be, okay? Open, hit start, hit okay. Guys, I'm gonna speed this up or I'm gonna cut this out, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll see you guys when it's done all right guys this is just about done actually I don't know how long this video actually is uh could be nine minutes or something like that at this point honestly I have no clue I do apologize for such a long video so this is basically done here now you're going to notice all right if yours looks like mine all right we close it out where you have the unallocated 43 gigabytes that's where we're going to repartition this as the FAT32 because realistically that is supposed to be the FAT32 not the 1.1 gigabytes because if you look over here now your properties you only have one gigabyte free so we have to recreate no oh my I didn't know we oh snap hold on please 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 no no do not do not no 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 Oh, no. Guys, I'm so mad right now. 
I'm so mad right now. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And it's not me at the ta Oh my god, guys. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. We need to. Okay. Okay, we're good. So, right click, create, not data recovery. All right. Create. Now, this one can be whatever you want. Uh, name it ROMs if you want. Uh, give it whatever one. FAT 32. Hit OK. Hit apply. All right, guys, I was just stressing right there. Oh man. So I thought I was gonna have to redo everything here. So now you're gonna have two drives here. All right, close this out. Grab your ROMs now. All right, you can see uh, F here, 43. All right, grab your ROMs and your BIOS that you saved from before. So I have them right here. My ROMs, I'm going to right click, copy. I'm gonna put that in F. This is if it separates the two partitions, right? From the 43 and the 1.1 gigabyte. If it does it like this, if not, you should be able to put the ROMs into the single one. Okay, guys, if it makes it one. If you have to make the second one, just do what I'm doing here. That's gonna take six hours, no way, bro. Anywho, go to your BIOS now. This one we can actually just put into here because we will have enough space. So we can just paste that there. Um, guys, this is going, oh, one hour, okay, good. I'm going to pause this again, speed it up, of course, all right? I'll see you guys when this is done and it's already 4.40 at night, um, but I'll be back when this is done. All right, guys, 40 minutes later, it's finally done. We got both of them up in here. So we have our bios now in E, that's going to allow us to run our games. And then F, we have our ROMs, as you can see right here. Okay, Easy RPG doesn't have any, but GBA, whatever. All right, so go ahead and safely eject your micro SD card, guys. We are done here. That's it. 1.1.4 is over. All right, close everything out, close everything out, and I will see you guys on the device. All right, guys, here we are. We are on it. Let's go ahead and now hit our F, our system information, guys. I know it's going to look exactly the same as it did when we first got on here, but you guys can see 1.1.4, and that's our same disk usage and all of that, guys. So that is basically it, guys. Took a lot longer than I wanted it to. I do apologize, but there were some extra steps on this one than the previous one all right and you only have to do all of that if it ends up the same way as mine guys okay i don't know so as you can see we're using um 99 of our roms right there i don't know if you can get that other roms folder that's in the e drive and add games through there if it works you know what i'm saying because we still have a gigabyte over there that we can use for other things don't call me on that i don't know if we can right have the two separate roms folders and put games in the other one i don't know but guys that's how you upgrade to 1.1.4 if it was helpful drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm my guys have a wonderful day peace uh